17 minutes after the hour. In just two hours, Baltimore Ravens play a critical game on their schedule. We are in Santa Clara, California, Levi Stadium, playing the San Francisco 49ers. And the weather is looking good. Not a lot of wind in the area. That's not going to be a, be a factor as it was in Jacksonville, partly cloudy skies. For the most part, temperatures staying in the mid 50s. Here's a look at our home field, M&T Bank Stadium. Looking beautiful on Christmas night. Right now on TV, oh, it's 49. Just barely a breeze in the area. Barometers at uh, pretty much up there right now as it was last night, 11, 30, 37, 74 percent humidity. It has been a warm and a humid day. Overnight tonight, temperatures stay as they did very much as they did last night. In the upper 30s to low now, low mid 40s in some locations. Your first alert forecast shows rain chances as we move through the next many hours, many hours, slowly but surely starting to amp up. There is rain in the forecast tomorrow, but it's more spotty shower activity, occasional drizzle as we move through the afternoon. Tomorrow night, though, that change that, that changes and the chance of rain, steady rain and heavy rain, amps up tomorrow night and through all of Wednesday. Anne Arundel County, good evening. Hope you had a perfect Christmas day. Tomorrow, everyone's going to be pretty much close to 50. In other words, mild temperatures still remain. Big slug of moisture out to the west. Big slug of moisture slowly and surely heading our way. Again, we're really not thinking that rain is going to be able to punch into the area big time until we get to, let's say, lunchtime tomorrow. Some clouds now starting to come in on what was just an absolutely gorgeous Christmas Day 2023. Again, you look up, you'll see, the, you'll see a, a few stars. It's going to be a very, very pleasant. If somebody got a new grill for Christmas, maybe outside right now, doing some grilling. The weather is certainly going to cooperate. Again, I want to take a look at our travel forecast. Um, no, maybe even with showers coming in late tomorrow, low impact, but moderate now Wednesday and Thursday. Thursday was amped up from low to moderate. We'll keep it low on Friday and Saturday as we move toward the New Year's holiday weekend. Out of sight. Okay, so what we're talking about on our seven-day forecast, Kwanzaa begins tomorrow and moves through the next seven days. That will include New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. 51, 56, 55, 47. So we know we're getting rain tomorrow late and all of Wednesday. Another chance of some showers as a cool front dives across the region Thursday night into early Friday morning. 55 then to 47, 43, 45, and 48. We end the year still with no big, no huge big weather bump in the road. Back to you.